Okay, guys. In this lecture, we will talk about the text area. We'll see how we can use text area in our system application, how we can design screen using the text area. But before that, let's see what is text area. I believe you, you must have seen and you know about text area, right? But let's have a look again. So uh, this is the uh, bootstrap.com and uh, this is the text area generally we use text area for uh, just a comment purpose and you have also seen the text area in the um, contact us page right out systems let me just show you what i am talking about this is the contact us page and this is the text area so text area is the text area is some somewhat uh, similar to the input only but we just get the more rows will say in the text area so that it visually uh, visually for writing the big content uh, it just give a better ux uh, user experience to the user so let's see how we can use the i'm sorry let's see how we can use the text area in the out systems i have created the application i have created the module and uh, uh, i have just given a proper uh, title as well you will find text area under the widget toolbox so this is uh, how you can just drag and drop the text area and it will uh, adopt the 100 percent width in the screen if you want to just set the uh, width you can just drag and drop and just uh, you can play like this let's have a look the property of text area variable so the variable it will require a text type of variable so whatever we will write here um, it will be assigned to that text whatever we are defining and as it is a dynamic binding automatically it will get assigned we will not require any type of assignment prompt we will talk about this when we will deal we'll see the forms and all maximum length so by default it is 500 and uh, 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 we can just change this as well so the maximum uh, maximum characters what this particular text area will allow this signifies that text lines so currently by default three rows it will just uh, show to user we can just make it bigger as well so let's just see it is it is showing on uh, here on ui as well to the developer how it will look like on the screen uh, mandatory uh, if it is true then whenever we will use this in the form form widget uh, automatically out system will perform the validation if user has not provided any text here it will give a message to user that you cannot proceed um, proceed with the form submission without filling the value here or without filling the text area enable if it is true it will be enabled if it is false it will not be enabled and user will not be performing action but it will be shown style class uh, style class attribute is attribute and event is event I believe I don't need to uh, handle the event, but we can handle just to show you. This is a repetitive work. We have already done this particular thing with the uh, input example. Exactly the same, only we are showing the text in multiple lines. So let me create one variable. Let me go to screen, local variable, text area variable or value, whatever we give. This value and on change we'll just show this value in a form of a message you know right what i have done because i have done the same thing um, multiple times so this is how you can go back publish let me show you that okay let's have a look okay this is our text area so we can write on we have applied the on change event right that's why whatever i am typing uh, every time it is triggering on change so we can learn one more thing here whenever we want to deal uh, in in this scenario so what we want here once user finishes his writing and one once the focus is lost or once user uh, click on the tab button then we should handle uh, this particular thing and we should do whatever we want to do uh, on change of this particular text area so for that purpose we have another event we should not handle the on change event let me delete that and we should handle the on blur event so once the focus will be lost this particular thing will be performed 
so user will write everything whatever he want and once he will just click on tab button or click somewhere else on the screen focus will be lost and this on blur event will be triggered and whatever we are doing in this action in this handler we will be able to do that and it will just uh, show according to the logic what we have written or behave according to that logic let's see so i am writing it is not triggering that okay once i click here it triggered you see let me do it again now i am clicking tab button it is showing the message that's it user can also just expand this as well this is the default behavior of bacteria so that's it guys this was just a simple use case and simple example how we can use it actually yeah thanks for watching guys